Hello ladies and gentle males, my name is Tyler aka Icarus and I just wanted to make a quick video today uh, showing about this new software that I've been experimenting with, DX Tori for recording gameplay and uh, for YouTube. You know I am new to the YouTube game here and you know I was told uh, by all the mostly all the other youtubers that I know um, they record with fraps and you know that was pretty much the standard so I did that and there was just some things about fraps that I didn't really like um, and I'll explain that a little bit more later but I wanted to explain this program that I found through a subscriber of mine he had a video saying test recording with DX Tori in X264 and I was curious because I know the X264 codec is really good uh, video quality with really low file sizes so you know I checked it out I did some research on it I bought or I didn't or I did buy it eventually but I downloaded it and I used it um, you know it's free to try and I was kind of blown away by it and for the X264 codec, you might not have it on your system. I'll include a link to get that, um, but I definitely recommend doing that, and I'll explain why. First of all, I'll go through the uh, system, the DX Tori system here, and I'll show you what my file settings are. Well, first of all, you have this window for the overlay settings for the FPS and you can change it to any color you want I just did it on the blue and red I don't know I kinda like those colors together and I go ahead and marked off the record status because I don't want that on the screen when I'm recording and movie capture frame I'm not 100% sure what those are in screenshot frame I'm not sure what those are either I believe those if those are included in the screenshot that you're taking or in movie capture um, yeah, again, I'm not 100% sure what that is. I didn't experiment with that. It wasn't selected. Um, I have a default setting set for all these, but I customized it. I definitely recommend doing that. And you can set up for a folder that you want. And when you do set up a folder, go ahead and click this right here for your benchmark. And you'll get the your drive speed. Uh, for writing the actual file and it'll give you the recommended one for that so I wouldn't change it from whatever it does say and you can change your hotkeys I set up F9 because I was used to using that with fraps and for a single screenshot that as well but if you're recording Minecraft like I do um, they already have the F2 on there so it's not really useful but you can set that up if you want and there's this execute high speed screenshot I haven't really experimented with that yet but I will be doing that as well I had just got this as of today uh, so I wanted to get this out right away because you know I was very impressed with it and I do believe it is better than fraps and now for the important one here it is the video movie settings and this is what I have it set to it's the X264 and the codec for that again will be in the description if you don't have it already uh, it will come standard on the DX Tori video codec and I did a sample video for the test here that I'll show you comparison on all three uh, with the file sizes and all that uh, I wouldn't recommend that it does take the high quality video and it is a little bit bigger of a file size but you don't have the uh, smaller uh, scaling that you do in fraps it's just a limited scaling um, if you wanted to go hundred percent there's even bigger file sizes for that in fraps and I usually do the half size uh, and you know the even with that file sizes get ridiculously big so I go to the x264 codec here now I have my basic settings on ultra fast and profile is auto and I did select the fast decode and zero latency for that I would recommend that I have it more towards the high quality at 17 
and that's really all I changed on here um, you know I'm not advanced in video production or anything uh, but from what I do know uh, I didn't uh, all this look good to me so go ahead and get out of that and you want to adjust to 1280 720 unless you're going to be doing the 1080p but 720 is fine for YouTube uh, I wouldn't suggest synchronizing the video FPS um, it just just don't do it <laughs> and then you can set your frame rate to whatever you want as well I just have it at 30 here um, you know I heard 29.97 is better uh, it keeps it you know right at about 30 instead of jumping up or down a little bit uh, so it really just depends on what you want to do but you can go all the way up to 120 depending on your refresh rate on your monitor I only have 60 on mine and you know, I don't really need it for recording YouTube videos and then you can set up your speakers and microphone uh, I just have the speakers going through or the audio going through my speakers and I have that set at the 48,000 Hertz 16 bit stereo and then I have my mic set up for the settings that actually are the highest for the microphone and it'll say whatever microphone you do have it'll give you what number is recommended for it to be at and then you'll have your screenshot settings I'm not really going to go into that uh, and then you have your advanced settings uh, again with the default settings I did put the limit video FPS at 60 I would recommend doing that as well and then your global settings I didn't mess with either alright guys so that's DX Tori and I'm gonna go ahead and open up this test folder here and I'm gonna explain exactly what I did alright so what I did was take a video of me just running around our little spawn area it's about 30 seconds long I'm sorry Callie's getting on my bed that's my dog um, and with fraps I'll go ahead and show you that. Hopefully it doesn't lag. It's just about 20 seconds long. And you can see Fraps was always a big problem with the darkness on the screen that you always had to adjust after, you know, in the editing process. And I wasn't a big fan of that. And it is a little bit laggy if you have a crappier computer. I do have a fairly good computer, but it's far from the best so you know I want I want as good as quality as I can for the you know system I do have you know as fast as I can get with the highest quality and then I did the DX Tori with that DX Tori codec I was talking about and you can see here file size is bigger however it is recording at 1280 720 and with a little bit higher total bit rate than the Fraps does and Fraps does do it at 50 again you can set that in Fraps 230 if you want um, it may be a little bit lower than that for the file size but still you'll have the dark screen and it'll still be on the uh, frame 960 by 540 if you have it set at half size and if you have it at full size it's gonna be basically double that that amount and I'll go ahead and show you that one alright guys and as you can see with this I'm sorry if it's a little bit laggy but it's just because I have Camtasia running but the colors are perfect just as you play it you know there wasn't any lag for me whatsoever when I was doing this and it is a little bit higher of a file size but again that's with the DX Tori codec and then I'm gonna go ahead and show you the X264 and I'm going to explain a little bit about that before we go into it. And the total bitrate for that is more than double what it was for both Fraps and the DX Tori codec. And that is good. Same with the data rate. Frame rate is the same, 30 frames per second. And look at the file size, guys. Only 106,000 kilobytes, which is you know, 106 megabytes. And that is going to save a lot of time in the editing process uh, you're not going to have to adjust the colors at all and it's just going to make 
a very simple you know editing process you can get videos out quicker and we'll go ahead and show you that quality alright guys so as you can see it's just as good as the DX Tori codec no lag whatsoever nice and smooth um, no problems whatsoever and so guys I definitely would recommend that and uh, that codec will save you a lot of time in the future and the program itself DX Tori it is I think it was only forty three dollars so I went ahead and purchased it I know it's gonna save me in the long run I tested Bandicam and a couple other screen recording software and they all each had their own different features that were nice but I believe this one is by far superior over all those and I believe you guys will be very happy with that again if you want to check out the stats here go ahead uh, my name is Tyler Icarus and if you guys have any questions comments leave them below and check the description I'll have the links for everything in the video that you can check out and you guys have a great day